Welcome to Gelastic. In this video, I'm going to deploy a Magento 2 site with a Lightspeed HTTP 3 server and a CDN with massive bandwidth capacity and lightning fast performance for site visitors all over the globe. Let's start with installation of Magento 2 from Gelastic Marketplace. For demo purposes, I'll go with a standalone installation, but if you need high availability, there is a cluster solution too. Make sure you enable Lightspeed server instead of traditional Nginx. Let's give this environment a nice name and choose a suitable region. All installations in this video happen almost instantly for the sake of time, of course, but normally a real-life installation will take up to three minutes. Once Magento is installed, I can log in to admin panel. Let's go ahead and do that. Enter username and password, navigate to stores, configuration, web. We'll need that page later on. In this demo, I will use a custom domain for my Magento shop. Consequently, I'll need a public IP. It's easy to attach one in Gelastic dashboard. Let's go ahead and do that. I have registered a free DNS name for this demo and let's add a public IP as an A record in DNS settings. Next step is generation of a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for my custom domain. It's really easy to do that with the Gelastic add-on. Just a few mouse clicks and you have your certificate. Gelastic will do all the heavy lifting for you. Moreover, you can use the add-on to configure and update the cert after it's generated. Now that I have a custom domain with a generated SSL certificate, let's update Magento base URLs. I'll replace Gelastic URLs with jmagento.ml, which is just a free DNS name that I have specifically registered for this demo. I'll do that both for secure and insecure traffic and save settings. I'm ready to install a CDN add-on. It's available in Add-ons panel, but you can also find it in Gelastic Marketplace. Let's go ahead and install it for my Magento environment, specifically for Lightspeed App Server. Once done, you'll have a CDN URL. You'll see 404 right away, as it takes time for a new environment to be propagated across the CDN network. When CDN starts serving your site, it's time to instruct Magento to use CDN for static and media resources. It's really easy to do that in the admin panel. Just use your CDN URL, copy and paste. Don't forget about the trailing slash, save settings and get back to the site. Now let's refresh browser tab and take a precise look at requests in developer console. As you can see, all requests have HTTP slash 2 plus quick, which stands for quick UDP internet connection, or in simple words, it's HTTP 3. And let's take a detailed look at a random request. First off, it's loaded from CDN, which will definitely improve page load in time. Secondly, quick is in the response headers, which means the content is being served over HTTP 3. By the way, you can purge selected content from CDN or purge all content to make sure your site visitors are served with the most up-to-date content. It is also possible to bind a custom DNS to CDN or choose between different high availability methods. Now let's open a shell into a Lightspeed server node and update a logo. I'll use an official Magento logo and let's see how long it takes for new content to be propagated to CDN. Let's refresh the page, and there you go, a new logo. Let's also demonstrate that the new logo is served by CDN. Premium CDN may not be available by default with your service provider. If that's the case with you, contact your provider support. Thanks for watching, give it a try at gelastic.com and let us know what you think.